friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Katerina and this is my channel of everything bookish, cozy, and lifestyle related. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a tier ranking video. I've seen this video done all over YouTube and I thought it was super unique. However, I didn't really know what I was going to do until I came across Katie from Katie is Reading and she ended up tier ranking every single book she has ever given a five star. And I thought that idea was super cool. Now something to note about me, I do not give out five stars very easily, at least not anymore. My younger self gave out five stars like it's nothing. My older self read books and I always think about the world building, the plot system, the characters. Is it unique? Is it not unique? I think so much more about the book as a whole rather than did I just enjoy it or not. And so giving five stars is very difficult for me. So I'll be going through all of the books that I've given a five star and talking about does it deserve the five star? Does it deserve more than a five star? Does it deserve to have its rating changed? Or is it a book that my younger self just thought was absolutely amazing and I gave it a five star? So with that, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so here is my tier ranking system. At the top, we have a part of my soul is missing. This means that the book took away a part of me when I finished it. It was amazing. It was more than a five star. It was a more than a six star. And we have a valid five star read. This is a book that was just really amazing. It was really good and it deserves that five star read. And we have cozy reads. This tier ranking is for books that I gave a five star, not because of the fact that the plot was amazing, not because of the fact that the world building was absolutely amazing, more so because of the fact that the book was just really cozy and I really enjoyed it. And then we have I change my rating. This means that if I had to reread the book again, I would definitely change my rating for final bottom tier. And this is younger me handing out five stars like it's candy. This was something I did. Like I said, uh, when I was younger, if I liked a book, and I mean just liked it, I would give it a five star. So yeah, that's that. All right, guys, so now that we have the tier ranking out of the way, let's get into the books that I gave a five star. So the first book on the list here is The Magic Study. This is part of the Poison Study series. Absolutely love this series. Still a series I recommend. However, for Magic Study, definitely I changed my rating. It's not a five star. It's more like a four or four and a half. Then we have Obsidian. This is part of the Lux series, or I think this is the first book in the Lux series. This is one that I'll go right into. Younger me handing out five stars like it's candy. It's an alien fantasy. The same goes for Queen of Zombie Hearts. It's the third book in the Alice in Zombieland trilogy. They get then the same goes for also Frost Like Night. This is part of the Snow Like Ashes trilogy. It's a series that once again came out when I was younger. If I would ever reread it, it definitely would not be a five star. Then we have Beowulf and this is absolutely amazing. It is one of the best class good and it's a valid five star read. If you're somebody that loves fantasy and dragons and epic quests, Beowulf is definitely a great start to epic classics. Hunting Prince Dracula. This is the second book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series. This one is actually a valid five star read. I really enjoyed the series. I thought all of them were really great. However, the only one that really stands out to me still is Hunting Prince Dra Dracula. Then we have Shadow of the Fox. I would definitely change my rating. This is a series that I don't remember much about. Um, I do want to reread it. Grave Mercy is part of his Fair Assassin series and I would put it under probably younger me handing out five stars like it's candy. It's decent. Then we have Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Mistborn series and this is a book that is going into a valid five star read. It is an absolutely amazing book. I cannot wait to continue the series. Sanderson's writing is spectacular and not only that, it's accessible. So if you're new to fantasy, 100% recommend it. Deal with the Elf King. This is a book that is part of like a magic series and I would change my rating for it. Um, it's a marriage of magic or a mar it's a marriage of convenience series. Mortal Heart once again is part of that His Fair Assassin series. It's once again going into Younger Me giving out five stars like it's candy. Then we have probably one of the only books that will be going into a part of my soul is missing and that is Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is my number one book of 2023 that I've read. It deserves more than five stars. It deserves more than six stars. I will forever remember that book. Then we have We Hunt the Flame and this is a book that has a unique magic system. However, I will definitely put it into I Change My Rating and or I might need to reread it. Then we have A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I'm gonna just put this in a younger me handing out five stars like it's candy. I think I gave it a five star just because it was mainstream, it was super hyped, and everyone else was. I don't know what I would give it. Poison Princess, 
do not have remember anything about this book besides I think that there's tarot cards involved. Then we have The Assassin's Blade. I'm going to put this in under I Changed My Rating. I think SJM's writing is amazing. I do think that her books are good. However, since reading more fantasy and fantasy romances since then, I do find that there are other better books. Winner's Kiss, this is a younger me once again. When I was younger, all these big trilogies were coming out and I think to me, they were all five stars. Then we have Heartstopper and I'm actually gonna find all of the Heartstoppers because all of these Heartstoppers deserve to go into cozy read. I love them. They're beautiful, they're glorious. I 100% recommend reading them if you want a cozy graphic novel with lots of representation, with a romance that is to die for. Then we have A Rival Most Vile. This also is going to go under a cozy read. Then we have The Kiss of Deception. This is also going to go under Younger Me, handing out five stars like it's candy. If I was to reread it today, I definitely wouldn't enjoy it anymore. One of my all-time favorite reads of last year, and that is Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. He is a wonderful writer, he is a glorious writer, and he is a brutal writer. And this is going into a part of my soul is missing. I cannot wait for Empire of the Damned to release next year. Uh, Through the Zombie Glass is once again part of that um, Alice in Zombieland book, which there is Alice in Zombieland, both of which I'm putting back into Younger Me handing out five stars like it's candy. Then we have Darkness Outside of Us. This is more of a three star rating now. Snow Like Ashes, once again, Younger Me handing out five stars like it's candy. And I think this is champion just due to what I'm seeing from the flower. This is also going under Younger Me handing out five stars like it's candy. It's just a series that was really good for its time. A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. When I first read this, I was obsessed and I gave it a five stars. And when I read it a second time, I gave it a five stars. And when I read it a third time, I found a lot of errors within the book, both like in writing and in plot and in character, and I realize it's definitely not worth a five star after reading a few other thrillers. Then we have The Poppy War, and this is also instantly going up to a part of My Soul is Missing. The Poppy War is by R.F. Kuang. It's one, it's a part of a trilogy. It's insanely beautiful. It's insanely brutal. She knows how to write the realities of war. Midnight Thief. Instantly. Younger me handing out five stars like candy and I apparently put two of them in there. I don't remember anything about this book. The same goes with Cruel Beauty. No idea what, what was this, this book was about. Uh, same goes for this Firelight is no idea what it is. Then we have A House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. Instantly a fat, valid five star read for me. TJ Klune has such an amazing way of bringing his characters to life and his worlds to life. Legends and Lattes also has a home in Cozy Reads. It's, it's a classic guy. The Song of Achilles. And this is a book that I have read multiple times. And it wasn't until the last two rereads that I definitely saw the faults. So I would change my rating to maybe a four or four and a half star. Then we have Aurora's End, and this is part of the Aurora Cycle, and it's by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Those two are a power duo. The ending of this series definitely could have been better. Black City, have no idea what it's about. It's instantly going into that bottom tier. Serpent and Dove. This is a book I read, and I, looking back on it, wasn't that great. We have Queen of Shadows, once again, that's living under, changing my rating. A Court of Wings and Ruin. The first two, those second two books in the Akatar series were my, by far my favorite. I've read them multiple times. However, there are just better romance fantasies out there. Daughter of the Pirate King. No re no recollection of what happened in that book. Then we have The Host. This was during my Twilight era. Anything that Stephanie Meyer was publishing, I was obsessed with. Warrior of the Wild is also another one. Don't have any recollection on it. Then we have Gemini, and I'm going to actually take Gemini and Illumini and Obsidio, and we're going to put all these in valid five stars. If you have not read the Illumini Files trilogy by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, I highly recommend it. It is a valid five star read for me because it is so unique. It is told in a file format. You're given files, you're given videos, you're given IMs, you're given documents that are blacked out. It's super cool. Then we have a Game of Thrones and I would actually change my rating for this knowing he's never going to finish it. Well, I just have no interest in continuing the series. Then we have a Heart of Betrayal. Not a five star in my opinion. My younger self thought so though. Then we have Aragon and Eldest. So Aragon and Eldest are part of the inheritance cycle. Um, these were the books that ended up making me the reader that I am today and deserve that five star rating. Then we have Half-Blood by J.L. Armentrout. I have no idea what that book is about anymore. Then there's Halo. Also, no idea. It's about angels that are hunted because they're bad, I guess. Then we have The Hunger Games and also Mocking To Kill a Mockingjay right next to it. Both of those, I would go into Younger Me handing out five stars like candy. I read it because of my mother read it. Wasn't enjoyable. 
Thanks, Mom, for making me read them. They were really great. They're a classic and dystopian in young adult literature. However, definitely not a five star. Lux, once again, younger me, handing out five stars like candy. We have Spy Family, and Spy Family Volume 1 is instantly a cozy read. You haven't read Spy Family? What are you doing with life? Um, Origin, <laughs> part of the Lux series with aliens and romances. And once again, younger me, loving those aliens. We Free the Stars is the second book to We Hunt the Flames. Not a five star, more like a four or four and a half. Then I believe this one's Legend from the image that I'm seeing, and that's younger me handing out five stars like it's candy. We have here, I think it's a darker shade of magic, and we're gonna take a darker shade of magic and a conjuring of light, which I know that one is, and we're going to change it. I really enjoyed this trilogy. However, there were just some things about it that were quite slow. I've read quite a few large fantasy books, but now I definitely see there's quality fantasy, and then there's like, Prior of the Orange Tree fantasy. Throne of Glass. Living under that, I changed my rating. Poison Study and Fire Study. This is a series trilogy that was another trilogy that really got me into read. Really enjoyable, but not a five star read. A Court of Mist and Fury was my absolute favorite, and I gave it a five star. Except for the last time that I read it, I ended up giving it a four and a half star because while I'm still obsessed with it, definitely see the flaws in it now. <laughs> this is The Beauty of Darkness is the last book in the Remnant Chronicle. I read when it came out and it's good, but I would not reread it. Air of Fire definitely changed my rating as we've talked about. Aurora Burning is the second book in the Aurora Rising. Definitely suffered from second book syndrome. Then we have Cersei. When I read it, it was amazing and I still really enjoyed it. I did remember not liking that the plot was so slow. It's more of a four and a half or four star rating. Beautiful Creatures. No idea what it's about. In Deeper Waters by F.T. Lukens. This is another cozy kind of fantasy, low stakes fantasy with a lot of representation. I'd more so say that the rating would be a three and a half, four star over a five star. Graceling is another book that I noticed is having a huge comeback. Would not give it a five star. The Prison Healer is a series I want to complete, but the first book doesn't deserve a five star. Uh, this is looking like a Lux cover, so once again, younger me. Then we have Stalking Jack the Ripper, and while I did enjoy it, I would change my rating for more a four star. Akatar for sure is a three and a half star for me. I know, it, it, I, I'll probably get some hate for that. Then we have the Raisin of Raven Boys. This is another one that younger me really loved, and I think adult me would enjoy it, but not love it. Then we have Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I'm gonna put this one up by Cozy Reads, and the reason why is because I reread it every year. We have The Cruel Prince, which is going to be going into I Change My Rating. It's a series that when it came out, I really enjoyed it. If I was to reread it, I definitely wouldn't give it a five stars. And then we have our final book on here, and that is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. And this is an amazing book with Latinx representation, with LGBTQIA plus representation. And this one, while it still has a valid five star read, it is a cozy read for me. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely leave in the comments below if there's any books that you would rewrite if you had to reread it again. Is there any books that you think that I should give a second chance and see if it still deserves that five star rating or not? And also make sure to like this video for more videos and definitely subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.